Well, a lot of people working from home right now worry that their own cybersecurity fails to match the security that they have at the office. Palo Alto Network's Ryan Olson joins us now to break down how to keep your work safe at home. And you're the VP of Threat Intelligence. So tell us, what are some of the most common threats to a remote workforce? Yeah, what we're seeing a lot of right now is attackers taking advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to trick people into clicking on links and opening files in what we call phishing emails. Typically, the messages contain information related to the pandemic, and it might be about the virus or a potential cure, but it could also be just related to it. For instance, here's where you can go and get masks or hand sanitizer, or even here's where you can go to sign up to get a stimulus check from the government. In the month of March, we actually identified over 100,000 domains that were registered using themes related to COVID-19. And not all of these were malicious, but a large proportion of them were highly suspicious and being used for scams. And some were dangerous to your computer. They could be used for command and control, or if you visit them in your browser, they could try to take over your computer. And now, is this ever going to be from a legitimate website? Like if you see, uh, see some of those keywords, but it says like Fox News or CBS. Sure. One of the challenges in general is trying to identify a legitimate website versus a non-legitimate website because attackers are really good at creating fake versions of other websites. So I'd say in general, be very cautious about searching for information and clicking on links when it's related to the pandemic because attackers know that everyone on the planet is interested in a single theme right now. And they also know that if they send emails that are related to that, they'll be able to get a lot of people's eyes and hopefully get them to click a link. Jeez. I'm probably already guilty of that. What are some safeguards we can take to protect our business, make sure it's secure when we work from home? I've got three tips for people who are working from home to help keep themselves secure. The first is keep your password secure. Your password is the keys to the kingdom for getting access to your email and all your other data. And if possible, enable two-factor authentication. Those are those little token codes you get over a text message or from an app. Those ensure that even if an attacker steals your password, they won't be able to log into your account without having access to your phone. Huh. The second thing is try to keep your work on your work computer and your personal stuff on your personal computer. Typically, your company is going to set that computer up in a secure way to make sure that you're accessing the data in, in the way that they want you to. And if you do things from your personal computer, um, it's just less secure. The third thing is update your home router. Your home router is the way that you connect to the internet. All of your devices connect to it, typically wirelessly. And if it's vulnerable, an attacker could potentially use that to enter your home network and attack the computers inside of it. So keep it up to date, keep it patched for those vulnerabilities, and that'll help you keep all of your computers more secure. And this pandemic seemed to just get out of hand so quickly. Do you think companies had time to take all these steps? I think a lot of companies have had to very quickly transition to getting people to work from home, but many of them had already had an occasional work from home kind of policy which meant they had the initial infrastructure in place that they just needed to scale up, typically using infrastructure like ours, which allows them to scale up quickly in the cloud. And any tips, I, I know this is on, on a different subject, but just keeping your kids safe because, you know, a lot of times kids are at home, parents are at home, parents are trying to work, so kids may be online and not as supervised as normal. Yeah, keeping your kids safe is really crucial. The same kind of things apply today as it applied in the past. Limit what they have access to, make sure you know who they're contacting online, and generally try to keep the computer they're using up to date and secure as well, because kids might not be as suspicious as we are when they're going and clicking on links. We've got to make sure we have those safeguards in place to keep them safe. Sure, absolutely. Thank you so very much for your time. We really appreciate it.